How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Uh, today we're going to do a quick short video on Acubit License Manager. And a little, there's some people that don't realize that there is a, a way to boot people off of Acubit. I'm not recommending it. But it's it's a way to see who's using the license. Um, there there are times where you might open up Acubit again, and you're eating up a license. And you know these licenses are expensive. Uh, I think five thousand dollars each. Um, so they are valuable licenses, in, in, in my opinion. So. There, there is a way to check to boot people off. Uh, you know, like I said, to double check, and yeah, let's jump into it. Ah, uh, the bell is rung. Uh, what, what, what that means is my, my buddy at Ashburn Power and Light, uh, Kevin Couchbrenner. He is the uh, director of operations and the superintendent. He today has won a significant job, and it's not his first job. is It's significant in value, and not only in value, that it's going to open up doors in this building that we have not had the opportunity to work in. So congrats, Kevin Couchbrenner. Keep up the good work. And uh, yeah, let's jump into this video. Okay, so you're in Acubid. You, you don't have to be in Acubid, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how this works. So you should have a, 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 a search bar down here. And if you type in license, at least license, you should it should show up as Acubid License Administrator. If you click this, depending on if you have this locally installed on your computer as a, a they call it a USB dongle or you have a server based dongle which is installed somewhere on the company's server and then Acubid is locally installed on your desktop and as soon as you open it up it's gonna use the server uh, your WAN to grab a license so, so so you can use it so depending on how many licenses and products you got you'll show up as your product license and this is Acubit Pro Acubit Pro the user and this goes back to my other tutorial on users in your default locations most companies will probably name your computer uh, first name last name or your your first name it's that's a company decision there um, the computer's ID, uh, you might have a, they might have, you know, 50 employees and your ID will, you know, could be, you know, 2012012. Uh, the version you're using, how many licenses you're currently using, and then your total licenses as a company, what you have. So, I also own LifeCount Desktop Pro. There are other Trimble softwares that are associated with this. A lot of older stuff. They used to make scales, uh, scales that were basically synced to the to the computer with Trimble Acubit, where you can take off. That's I, probably the the first version of LifeCount, where it's a hand scale you just use on on drawings. Um, if you are using the newer product of LifeCount, it's a it's a LifeCount Cloud. LifeCount Cloud will not show up on here because it does not use a license uh, per se to a dongle. It's basically a internet program that opens up and you you have your own unique username and, and password. So that won't show up here and, and basically your, your licenses are determined by Trimble for whatever you paid for. So I believe for every Acubid license you buy from here on out, you 
you get automatically I maybe I did maybe not that's I'm sorry that's not correct so if you get one live count license it's one live license period I'm thinking about the trade services so when you get when you actually buy a a life count I'm sorry a, a Trimble license it comes with one tr um, a bundle trade service license okay so in this here you can actually click here and right click and you can release the license um, like I was saying before there, there are times where you own about five licenses and then you you come back the next day and you're not really paying attention to what you're doing and you click Accubit again it will just open right up and grab another license if it's free and people are all walking around saying hey are you you know hey are you, you are you using two licenses or you know whatnot I, I've ran into that numerous times at different companies where they're walking around and they're asking people can you you know not everybody's there too they're calling people hey do you need can I get in your computer and close this and, and whatnot so this is the the easier way of of doing it you can just click this and you'll see everybody who's using the licenses um, I never got to mention change order pro you know if you own multiple licenses you know that will show up too so you're able to, to come in here check it out see if that particular computer is using more than one license and then you know you can call them on the phone hey you're you're eating two licenses what what, what are you using the other one for oh uh, you know it, you you check the date and it says yeah man you you opened up one today and then you left and you're like oh yeah that was no good well then you could click that one and release it and then that way the other guy can now start using it uh, very basic but uh, a lot of people don't know that this even exists it comes with your computer uh, it comes with the, the program it's when you install Acubid this should come with it if not I get that CD back and put and, and make sure you check the license manager program so you can always manage this um, and that's it so uh, thanks everybody for watching um, this is Alfred Flores CEO president New Age Electric um, any comments on the videos um, yeah, please shoot any kind of ideas or you want me to demonstrate something maybe there maybe there's something in the product that you've never seen before and you wish somebody could explain it um, I'm pretty pretty almost thorough about how many videos are going to be left on Acubit. I, I've detailed a lot of instructions on, on how to do a lot of different things and upcoming soon I'm going to probably start diving into live count um, there are so many same thing there's only so many videos you can do on, on live count but I'm gonna show you how to open it up what all the little screens and and devices do um, you know importing drawings doing overlays with addendums and whatnot so it's it's gonna be some great videos coming but after that I'm going to start diving into lighting controls and the different things that are out there and th th there are probably endless amount of controls but here in Chicagoland there is a lot of Lutron and there's Crestron there's Acuity N light there's that watt stopper DLM and it just goes on and on every probably five six years they're coming out with something brand new and and there's a all these new methods to to put this stuff together you got to get cut sheets uh, one line diagrams to see how this all goes together and and as an estimator your job is never going to stop learning and never you're never going to not stop learning how to bid and put stuff together it's there's technologies always evolving and especially these controls they're becoming more and more sophisticated and and now that this whole wireless thing is is getting more widely accepted that's not everybody's forte but it is um 
that's getting a little bit more complicated. So there's programming time with the uh, lighting control people. So yeah, keep. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on that. That's probably gonna be coming within a couple weeks. Um, there's only so many videos left of of Acubit and uh, any comments, let me know because these are coming coming to a close, and I'm gonna start jumping into. Uh, more complicated things and then I'm gonna start interpreting co some code and we'll start referencing Chicago electrical code so maybe some NEC um, maybe kind of show the difference of the two uh, Chicago is a little bit more com complex than NEC but as most people know they adopted the NEC and then now it's basically one code book and if you happen to open up a Chicago electrical code book you're gonna see that there are sections highlighted which means that this, that's particularly a Chicago code versus an NEC. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.